Hi, I'm Amelia and we're here at Suburban Table in Mosland Park to check out an exciting new art initiative. Tell us about the art initiative here that you've just introduced. It's a fairly new initiative. We were quite excited when my son took over the Suburban Table at the beginning of this year. We saw it as a really good opportunity to be able to introduce some local artists' work into a restaurant environment. And uh, we've got Mia Lang currently on display. What uh, drew you to her work? <laughs> we're actually school friends. I've known Mia obviously since uh, you know, we're, we're in school together. And um, through the marvels of, of Facebook and social media, we've been keeping in touch. And I know that she's been a, an illustrator for many years, but more recently she's turned her brushes to um, something more therapeutic for her. Yeah. And the work is absolutely beautiful. It's all images of um, you know, just domestic scenes for her, things that bring her joy and happiness. And it really is, you know, it's so lyrical, it's, it's really beautiful work. It's really expressed well on the, on the canvas. Yeah. Have you got a personal favourite? I have three. <laughs> I think, um, first of all, Blossoms, uh, Spring Blossoms is a really beautiful piece. It's, um, it's, it's got beautiful light to it. And then I've got another couple of favourites where the um, pomegranates with the pottery, the, the colour is beautiful and it just, it's, it's such a luscious looking scene, both the, um, the pomegranates and the, the peaches actually. Yeah. So yeah, too many favourites, but they, they would be mine. <laughs> Hard to choose, lives. yeah. And your son's obviously an instrumental part of the business. So what inspired the opening of a restaurant? What did you set out to achieve in the community? Uh, from an art point of view or from the, the from, restaurant point of view? From both. Uh, well, Suburban Table's been running for a few years now. The, um, and Josh, my son Josh had been working for, for the owner, Gary, for um, that amount of time. Not so long ago they had a fire and the, the restaurant closed down for a few months to, um, to refurbish and um, at the end of last year the owner wanted to sell and Josh wanted to, uh, offered it to Josh and Josh um, jumped at the, at the chance so he took over at the beginning of this year and Gary's still an instrumental part of, of the restaurant, still working with Josh every now and then um, but Josh has got the everyday money of the, of the restaurant. Fantastic. We've seen what's on display on the walls. What about the food? Uh, what can people expect on the plate? <laughs> it's really delicious, hearty bistro style food. There's a lot of it as well, so it's certainly not a you know a skimpy, skimpy <laughs> meal. It's um, it, uh, it's, I wish Josh was here to talk about his own food. <laughs> um, it's very hearty food, and it's all a, a, a bistro style. But I think also the ambience of the place as well. They focus really much on on making the, the customer feel really welcome and feel part of the, the family and home environment here.